that's what has gone down and we're expecting the next the rest of the tail of the table of the next fight national lightweight title bout Kende Ijoba Batmos against real one real one Oladusu 28 years of age 165.10 uh, centimeters in height 25 uh, centimeters in reach and 61 kg in weight and of course for real one Oladusu is 26 it's 172.72 and it's 25 centimeters in reach and it tipped the scale at 59.4 kg in weight category ladies and gentlemen our fourth bout for tonight is a 12 round encounter and making his way into the squared ropes please make welcome for the national lightweight title bout, Kainde Ijoba Badmos. Kainde Ijoba Badmos uh, challenging for the national lightweight title in a 12th round contest is aged 28 a height 165.10 meters and it's got a 25 centimeter reach a plus 61 kilogram weight and uh, he's up against a very prolific boxer who likes to show bolts a lot you might want to call him the king of showmanship his fight record 11 fights eight wins three losses no draw but eight wins eight knockouts Another knockout specialist, Kende Badmos. They call him a Joba. Which a Joba means government. government. Uh, what is the government of the day? Who we'll know? We'll see how he's going to rule the ring, and of course uh, rule his opponent and achieve another win. Eleven fights, eight wins, eight coming by way of knockout, three losses. Back to Charles. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome. Please make welcome his opponent tonight. Real one. Real one. Orlando Sue. And you can see there, 26 years of age, and uh, the national lightweight champion of Nigeria. Uh, he has uh, 1.72 meters in height, and he's got a 25 reach. That's 25 centimeters, 59.4 kilograms. Slightly just a 0.6 kilograms less than uh, his opponent, who is actually 60 kg. That's a boxer that is not interested in knockouts. Just one knockout and his seven wins. And he loves to go the distance. He loves to walk his opponent down and, of course, achieve victories. We'll see how he's going to do that tonight against another opponent that everyone loves to see. A real one, of course, against a Joba Badmos. I've seen a Joba fight and I've seen Badmos fight. The matchup is interesting. Very interesting matchup. The government uh, trying to govern the ring today against a man who says he is the real deal, the real one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just to remind us once again, this is a 12-round bout for the national lightweight title. And our judges for tonight Joe Lassisi, Shegun Adesoya, and Wahab Martina Adote. Our referee for tonight is Latif Muiz. Kainde Badmus Ijoba fighting from the blue corner 
has 11 fights to his name, 8 wins, 3 losses, and 8 knockouts. Real one, the real one, Oladosu, has under his belt 7 fights, 7 wins, and 1 knockout. My name is Latif Morris. I'm going to bring the ring with you for the next 12 rounds. When I say stop, boxing, you stop. When I say break, you step aside. Box, you box, okay? Don't blow the belly belt and rapid punch, okay? Touch for the first round. Touch for the first round. Good luck. And good luck, the referee says to the two boxers. They will show need it. We'll find out whether the real one, his wits, will get him out of this one again. He's always used it in combination with some very strategic and tactical boxing. And that's the reason why in all his fights, he only had one knockout. He lost to go to distance. First round of Shadow at 12. This national lightweight title bout. Kende Joba Badmores. Clad in uh, black and gold, and of course, uh, a real one, the real one, Oladusu, had a multiple colored, uh, but with shiny red and white combination of colors, uh, and that uh, tog. That's a man that loves to show off a whole lot, uh, comes with uh, a lot of stuff interesting aspects uh, to his uh, boxing career. Plus, he's got a whole lot of followership uh, in the Go TV box at night. And, when, he, uh, when he fights the whole of his hood, uh, come along with him to cheer him. Interesting thing about him is a, is a boxer who loves to employ all the strategies, all the tactics involved in boxing. Good jabs, good body movement, good footworks, and then he lands his big one, which is usually his right hand. That's one of the boxers that I love to watch the fighting on Go TV, every Go TV boxing night. I like that boxer, uh, just like Babyface too. They are young, they've got potentials to go. Oh, that's a lunging uppercut uh, coming in, uh, but didn't quite land. It would have been devastating. Uh, it came from a job by himself, uh, who is interested in ruling the ring right now. And of course, uh, running is opening down. He's like a boxer who's looking for the killer punch every time, but he's going to have it difficult when he... Because he's fighting the real one, who's got a fantastic body movement and good footwork as well, so it's going to be difficult. And plus the fact that real one's got a, a, a better reach advantage, and he's been using it so far with some very quality jabs. Jabs trying to keep away uh, Ijoba, but it's not really connecting because Ijoba is guarding himself very well. Ijoba, of course, he loves uh, uh, the Eba, that's Gary, and the vegetable soup. Uh, he loves Fuji music. Uh, he loves to watch uh, boxing shows on television. And uh, he's a boxing uh, role model, is Manny Pacman Pacquiao. And uh, he also Loves a whole lot of things. His ambition is to become a world boxing champion. And he needs to do a whole lot if he wants to achieve that. I believe in my punch. That's what he says. I'm not surprised he believes in his punch. He's a, a boxer who's got a very big knockout record. And that's why he believes in his punch. Believes in his punch. And of course, I, I saw that lunging uppercut that he went for. Uh, they didn't quite achieve uh, uh, the desired end. The interesting thing about the real one is that he likes to wear down his opponent. 
uh, you know, he frustrates you, makes it difficult for you to get him. And then at the end of the round, the few rounds remaining, he uses it to score a lot of his points. We didn't see much of that in the first round, and I know real one is going to come out real fighting in the second round and all that. This is the 12th round title bout. Second round of Shadow 12, for this national title bout. A real one against a, a, a jobber. Two evenly matched uh, boxers. Jobber stalking his opponent there, but still guarding his face. Good combinations there, but none of them connecting. And the real one counters back with his uh, uh, jabs, who, which is usually very effective. He never stays uh, idle. Keeps going on and on with a jab with left hand jabs and all that, uh, jabbing away on his opponent steadily. And uh, that's how he wears down his opponents uh, that he has fought. Uh, seven of them, uh, the six of them uh, went the distance and uh, wore them down. And it was a one fight by unanimous decision all the way. Good combination with some body punches there. He found out he couldn't really connect when it came to the uh, head punches, but it's going to the body to. And there you go with it again. I was wondering how long it would take for us to see that. <laughs> He's come up with it. But he just uh, supported that with a good right uh, to the jaw of uh, his opponent. And now good combinations are from uh, the real one. And that's why he's called the real one. You can see the way the body punches are th they're like allowing or making each other drop his guards. And of course, if uh, the real one is going to have a headway in this, he needs to try and, you know, wear down the body. Uh, two boxers, orthodox boxers uh, with um, a different uh, way of uh, fighting uh, while one depends on his heavy punches, uh, the big punches uh, the other one depends on uh, wearing down his opponent's uh, body shots uh, here and there and of course uh, going upstairs uh, to take the but it does have that big shot uh, but it goes for uh, the, the oh that's a big one. Oh, scores again there uh, that was a lovely one there and, 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 and you know he seems to know how to you know get out of the, a dangerous area it was almost caught there by uh, each other with a fantastic uh, left point left hook there but uh, found a way of uh, evading once again he just did that very quick hands he, he's got uh, the real one you know Joba has uh, his guard on but those jabs are penetrating hitting his nose again and again and um, uh, with time now, you see it telling on the nose. Yeah, definitely. And uh, it's not only that, you would, would see it telling on the, on the body as well. Uh, because if, if you keep trying to protect yourself and you're not throwing punches back, how do you wear down your opponent? And the real one, uh, his fans, uh, are, are here with, with his banner. And they're all enjoying it. His fans come in different shades and colors. Head of women, men, old and young. Oh, that's that a big left hook up from a jobber. Good counter punching from the real one. We've got a big fight on our hands here. You know, why a real one of Ladus who has his role model as Floyd Mayweather? The other one has his role model as um, pa Manny Pacquiao. You know what? <laughs> Both of them got it right. Pacquiao is a knockout specialist. Mayweather is the man who likes to take you through the distance and is a defensive boxer. And that's exactly what Ladus enjoys doing. Both boxers um, saying they are going for the kill.
you look at the smooth way he actually uh, rode the tide of those two punches there um, and immediately his jabs are going to work body punches there connecting you know I love his ring general sheep real one or ladusu very difficult boxer to catch napping and uh, once again putting their records uh, toe to toe uh, 11 fights to seven uh, eight uh, wins for bad Moss, three losses already and uh, that should encourage uh, the real one and then of course interestingly uh, the real one will be discouraged by the fact that bad Moss has knocked out all his eight, eight uh, opponents in his wins they have him trying to corner the man uh, and that a corner to land the big one about um, a real one very difficult to nail to a corner uh, just uh, gets it so rigorous his way out of uh, any danger fights his way out but it's even difficult to pin him there yeah you, you know what I, I, when you talked about the fact that they've got Manny Pacquiao and Mayweather it pretty much looks like we're watching that kind of fight here you've got a jobber who wants to out punch his opponent you can see him there throwing everything and then that's the defense coming up from a uh, real one and he's telling him I'm here look at that look at the combination almost about eight punches there and that's what he loves you know, he loves doing all the time it's Mayweather rest very interesting boxer very exciting boxer a marvelous boxer real one Interestingly, a lot of people look at him and he looks fragile and you feel he's not a, a, he wouldn't have a strong chin on himself, but he does have a strong chin because he knows how, he, when he gets it and he feels the power of the punch, you will see him dance out of the corner. Just look at the way he got out of that, um, what? that corner that uh, the job I thought he had him. Oh, that's uh, a pizza. Oh, uh, that, that the referee needs to do something about that there. That was a headbutt. Uh, Stonewall headbutt, and I'll be surprised. I won't be surprised. Luckily for the real one, he doesn't have a cut on his face because he landed straight to the side of his jaw. A side of um, sign of frustration too. Yeah, Ijoba hasn't been able to really uh, land his big punches. It's the man that nails the opponent to a corner, and of course, it lands the big one uh, to send uh, the opponent to the canvas. But it's not be able to. The bell's gone, but the job bell. can't even hear the bell. Can't hear the bell. And look at look at the real one. Look at the real one. He can't hear it's the like, bell. It's like, dude, you didn't hear that. <laughs> Still, he has not heard it. Like Seconds are out, and of course, uh, Ijoba, uh, really, really, the jabs are, are telling now. It looks like a punch uh, blocked his hearing aids. Uh, <laughs> didn't hear the bell at all. RCG, come on. I think it was, uh, the bell was actually drowned uh, in the cheering and the noise so coming from the How did the opponent, uh, how did uh, the real one, uh, they heard the bell. Okay, I hold my hands up. <laughs> no defense. You heard the bell. I heard the bell. <laughs> Looking for the cornering once again. And look at look at the way real one rides the waves again. Oh, beautiful body punch. Beautiful. We could hear the sound of that body punch from here. Well, a big body shot from a real one. A very hard target. Real one who loves the rice, to eat rice and stew. Loves a hip hop. Especially the not, music of Olamide. I'm not surprised. Uh, and of course, uh, he loves the TV. His favorite TV show is boxing. Boxing shows. Uh, as a role model, of course, I said earlier on the uh, Floyd and the Money Man, Mayweather. Wants to become a world champion one day. Never say never. 
Uh, that's uh, his uh, favorite quote. And of course, uh, the man that uh, gives uh, the fans a lot of um, things to cheer whenever he's fighting. The real one, Oladu Su, the real one. Born on the 1st of April in 1992. Break! Break! Lagos, Nigeria. When I say break, both of you, okay? But when I say break, you break. Latif Moïse, uh, the referee. Oh. That's a point below the and belt. And there you go again. Ijoba goes. Ijoba, Ijoba goes for the other point below the belt. There, but I'd like to see that again. He's having an argument now. You can see referee Moïse there telling him he's not going to have it again. Let's see what happened. And that's it. Points deduction. Uh, that's it. Uh, yeah. Not actually deduction. below the belt. Once again. Uh, I think a real one is um, really taking it too far. Didn't quite it was uh, to the waist. So some sort of trickery being involved in yeah, it as exactly. well. Exactly. Uh, more one of the reasons why Mayweather is definitely his role model. Uh, Mayweather brings everything into the ring. A little one that Joba was protesting that the man is just um, uh, taking a time out to rest. <laughs> And then he comes back again, looking very aggressive. It can be frustrating fighting a boxer like this. He's asking for the, the fans to give him a look at that. I thought he was going to fight. And then he just uh, strolls out of uh, a seemingly good position for him. It's really frustrating. Hey, Jabba has to fight. Um, he don't just uh, wait to hit the big ones. You've got to fight, you've got to jab, you've got to use your make um the dip some footwork. And that's what he Real does one. to open it. You know, he frustrates them. And then he, he, like you said, you said it all. Ichaba has to come out and land the punches. Because all the jabs being landed by the real one will count on the judges' scorecard. Uh, when you know now that your tactics are not working, um, the, the, the aim is to catch the man, uh, pin him to the ropes, and of course land the big one. It's not working. You need to um, re-strategize and of course they come out uh, fighting with a new strategy. Check out that. He thought he pinned the man. He thought he wants to land a big one, and that man wriggles his way out. And then of course uh, this is the, uh, the headbutt situation. And, uh, but I also think that the real one, uh, maybe due to his showmanship or his showboating, he tends to overreact. Uh, he ex exaggerates things a lot. The fifth round of uh, Shadow, the 12 rounds of national welterweight uh, title bout uh, between these uh, two boxers. Kane, a job at Bad Moors, and of course a real one, a real one, Olado Su. It's a lightweight, a bigger pattern, national lightweight title bout, 12 rounds of boxing uh, in the fifth. Joba once again stalking his opponent, and that's it, he's looking for that uh, big right hand. You can see that again, a, job, a real one working on that body. Every time he goes to the body, and look at that, look at that. Once again, he misses and he's counter-punching again. Big one there, catches him, finally, but he's trying to shake it off. Ichoba is seriously playing into the hands of the real one here, if you ask me. Good footwork. But the job will not be perturbed at all. He's not bothered about all this showboating by the real one. He's focused on his mission, which is to land the big one. I just wonder how many kilometers a real one would have covered at the end of the fight because he's a very mobile boxer. Uh, very, very mobile. And that left hook uh, caught him there. So a slider duck. Still looking for that big one. But he needs to throw the jabs. He's not throwing the jabs at all. 
interestingly, it does look like Ijoba is being cautious, too cautious. He feels if he tries to throw the jabs, Oladosu, who, who is a beautiful counter puncher, can catch him napping. And that's the reason why he's, he would rather play safe, guard himself, and look for the big punches. But it's not working for him. Well, yeah, all the fights we've seen him, um, it's always been, this is the way he fights. Uh, so it's, it's quite difficult to change uh, the way you fight. Uh, that's when he almost uh, running into that uh, right hook uh, from a real one. Just chases his man uh, all over the ring, but he's right. unable to pin him. Right. And of course, uh, land the big ones. Once again, it's, it's, it's almost like uh, the real one is actually inviting him, teasing him, asking him to come to the corner. The height of frustration. And sooner or later, he, he probably might be uh, frustrated to drop his guard in the process of trying to knock out his opponent. Joba is definitely frustrated. He's chasing him out everywhere. Going to the halfway of uh, the scheduled uh, 12 rounds of national lightweight uh, title bout. This is the sixth round. We aren't surprised that he's gone to the sixth round. And uh, lovely body punches there. Chopa, I think he's gotten some uh, serious talking to from his opponent. He's going for the kill right now. And uh, Olados is telling him uh, they're just uh, little stings. But he needs to watch out. This is where the real one could be dangerous as well because the moment he drops his guard to try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her, the real one, he could get caught. They have the jabs. Very, very, very. Effective jabs from the real one, Oladosu. Almost energetic like, fighter. Almost like you're chasing shadows. <laughs> That's it. Uh, surely he's been chasing shadows uh, all fight, all night. Uh, so far in all the five rounds we've seen. He's um, unable to really pin that man. Uh, there you have him again. <laughs> it's like he's just making fun of his opponent in the ring. It looks like he's parrying. <laughs> Instead of uh, it's a national title fight. Uh, it will it, be, be interesting to see the, uh, the workout regimen uh, for Oladosu. You talked about how energetic he's been and also uh, the number of kilometers he would have uh, covered in the square ropes here. And uh, he looks like a man who does a whole lot of road works so that his legs can do the working and the running in the ring. It will be unbelievable if we put the number of kilometers together and then it's announced. It will be unbelievable, honestly. Two big body shots from a real one. Oh, that's another big body shot. And yet another. 
The body shots are very effective from Oladusi. And you see him, you know, going into those guards gradually because of those body punches. He's going into those guards. Going to the seventh round of this shadow, the 12th. It's over. It's over. A job has not come out for the seventh round. Those jabs have really, really worn the man out. And uh, you can see how athletic uh, this boxer, real one, is. And now he's putting off the show with a great down steps. Interesting bout we just seen here right now, but we still have to go to the corner uh, to get the reason why uh, each of us decided to call uh, time on his government in the ring. That was a premature government, if you ask me. You know, those body shots uh, really did some damage. And uh, so the man could not come out for the second, seventh round. So he took six rounds only. Punishing six rounds. Six rounds that he could not uh, pin his man and force a fighter uh, his own style of fighting. You know, all. Uh, it was uh, some very, very interesting uh, boxing for real one or Ladusu. And you can see Jabba there gesticulating, uh, uh, making, uh, touching his uh, lower abdomen. Uh, I think uh, those body punches did a whole lot of damage. And uh, at one point, we could actually hear the sound and the impact of that body punch. Let's now go into the ring to get the official decision from the ring announcer. And winner by technical decision for the national lightweight title bout. Real one, real one, Orlando Su. Winner by technical decision. Uh, back again there, and his fans applaud that one. Uh, a technical decision. Uh, referee stops the fight, but technical knockout has been and it's round six and there you have it and uh, that's what he, he's been he's had it for a while and he's, he's holding on to it for another a period again and the belt presented to him there by the uh, general match ma general manager marketing uh, multi-choice Nigeria uh, Mr. Martin Mabuto alongside the president of the Nigeria Boxing Board of Control, the NBDOC, Dr. Rafiul Ladipo.